The Apple Watch Ultra 2 and Series 9 no longer have blood oxygen tracking if you buy them new. And this is to prevent them from being re-banned in the United States. So starting on January 18th, Apple has essentially re-released the Series 9 and Ultra 2, but just removed the blood oxygen. Now, this is purely a software block, so it's not coming to older Apple Watches. So Series 6, 7, 8, 9, Ultra 2 purchased before January 18th, all are still gonna have blood oxygen. It's gonna keep working as Apple's gonna fight to make sure that they don't have to remove the feature from consumers who already have it. But if you wanna buy one new, you are losing out on this. And these new Apple Watches do have a new model number, so you do know, in fact, they are different, or essentially software locked to not have the blood oxygen. So if you try to open the blood oxygen app on those older Apple Watches, it just says that blood oxygen is no longer available. Please view more details on your iPhone. Now, Apple does also tell consumers on their website that the Apple Watch Series 9 and Ultra 2 is no longer available with this little banner at the top. I think it's a little hard to see. I think they should make it a little bigger, but that's just my opinion. Now, this is all happening because of that ongoing patent battle with Massimo. Now, the lawsuit is still going on, so we don't have a final end date, but Apple is hoping to have this wrapped up by March, it seems. And it's actually pretty interesting that this has been going on for as long as it has because Massimo has been trying to get this blocked since the Series 6 Apple Watch. It just has taken a while to come to fruition, and now we finally got it with the Series 9 and Ultra 2. So Apple essentially is blocking it. Now, I do see some ways for them to circumvent this block by essentially just redesigning it for the Series 10 and Ultra 3, but it's only January right now, and we still have some time to go before we'll get the Series 10 and the Ultra 3, and we might not even get an Ultra 3. We don't really know right now, as all of that's still up in the air. The only ones who know are the people who work at Apple. But it's going to be very interesting to watch this play out, because Massimo really doesn't want this to happen, and really doesn't want Apple to keep using their blood oxygen technology, which is understandable. But Massimo's CEO came out the other day and said that the blood oxygen feature on Apple Watches doesn't even work and should, customers shouldn't even rely on it. And then Apple came out and rebutted this claim by saying that that is not at all true and customers have actually been able to use this to help them seek medical help, just like the EKG on the Apple Watches. Now. I use the blood oxygen tracking all the time because it does it in the background. I don't do it by, like, it just does it in the background, so I don't have to worry about it tracking my blood oxygen. But looking at those numbers and seeing, like, when I'm getting sick in relation to all the other health data it's given me has kind of been a key insight into my body as it's another number that I can see, essentially, that otherwise I wouldn't know until it happens. Like, if my body temperature spikes and then my blood oxygen might take a hit, and my heart rate, like all of those go hand in hand. And as I did see recently, if my body temperature spikes, my blood oxygen dips, and my heart rate spikes while I'm sleeping, usually that means I'm getting sick. So for me, that was kind of just an insight to saying like, hey, take it easy, you are getting sick. Now, these new Apple Watches, so we know for a fact the Series 9, the new model number ends in LW slash A instead of A, instead of QA slash A. Now, we don't know about the Ultra 2, but I'm assuming it's probably similar uh, with the LW slash A, as right now it also ends in QWA, it just has a different beginning to that model number. Now, if you are buying an Apple Watch from Apple or secondhand and you want to know what the model number is, all you have to do is go into the watch, go into settings, scroll down to general, about, and then where it says model, you're going to want to click on that, and then it'll switch from the model number to the part number. So the model number starts with an A, the part number will start with an M. So you just tap on the, the initial one that's there, which is going to say A something, and then you click on that, and then it'll show you the part number to make sure that you're getting one that either will work with blood oxygen if you're buying it from a second hand, or if you're buying it from Best Buy or Target or some retailer that might still have old stock units as of right now. But we don't really know what units have are where, except if you buy from Apple, you most likely are not going to have an Apple Watch with blood oxygen capability just yet. It is rumored to come later on. As I said earlier, it believes March is going to be when this is wrapped up, but we don't know for sure. As it could be wrapped up in March, it could be wrapped up a lot later, we just don't know. But Apple is probably working as fast as they can to make sure that they can either get this resolved, or if they have to redesign their 
watch for the Series 10 to make sure they don't miss out on the Series 10 release date of September because a few years ago they released the Series 7 later but they pulled the Series 6 while doing so, so they left consumers kind of without an Apple Watch model, meaning Apple was losing out on profits. And now, while the Apple Watch Ultra 2 and Series 9 were banned for about a few days, we're not gonna. Ha that's not going to happen again. So you'll always be able to get whichever Apple Watch you want, it's just missing out on the blood oxygen feature, which is kind of one of the main reasons you would choose a Series 9 or Ultra 2 over the SE. So right now the SE is kind of looking like the more compelling option, although the Series 9 and Ultra 2 do have faster speeds, better brightness, bigger displays, but other than that, that's really it. And the Ultra is obviously more durable with the titanium design and all that, but overall, this has actually been very interesting because Apple's not removing the features from old consumers who have older watches or who have bought new Series 9s and Ultra 2s, but let me know what your thoughts are with the comment down below, and if you're, while you're down there you want to hit like and subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate that because that lets me know that you're interested in the content like this because this is something we haven't really seen from Apple before. They've been in lawsuits, but nothing where they've almost had to pull a product off the shelves. But I want you to remember, today's a good day to make a great day, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.